What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev back again for another first listen. Y'all know who that is right there. Today, we are doing another Me Am the Monday where I find different artists, whether they're from Mars, Earth, Underground, On the Ground, Groundhog Day. I don't know where you stay, but we talking about Me Am the Monday new artists, man. This is why I listen to new artists that haven't, you know, probably on my channel haven't been shown yet or they're just kind of just new to you guys you guys always kind of just give me some artists new artists to listen to this is not the same format that i do with my uh my new artists when i do a first listen i listen to three new tracks but this is kind of where i just take my time you know give an artist a new kind of kind of just I'm trying to think what it a new just just some sort of clout i guess that's the word i'm looking for some sort of attention that some way they can get they, they get their names out there or whatnot because I've done artists like Pink Sweats, I've done Zamira, I've done uh, Flip De Niro was on the Miami Monday that I did one time. So these are all different artists. Man, I always tell you guys your favorite artist was once a dominant in the dirt. Not everybody is a Kendrick Lamar. Even Ken Kendrick Lamar himself was a dominant in the dirt. So I tell you guys that man, the hardest part about music or anything in business is getting your name out there, getting your product to the masses that's the hardest part about music but today we got an artist by the name of black cat apparently the only thing i know about him is he's from michigan and he moved to atlanta that's the only thing i know about him he moved to michigan or he's from michigan and he moved to atlanta i feel like atlanta is now like the hub of all music you know we got artists like young thug and gunna and Lil baby and you know all the rest of them and keep Lil got it they all from atlanta so i feel like if you want to get your music out there atlanta is definitely the place to go but we're gonna take a listen to this man like always ben Talk too much, man. We got uh, Black Cat, no L's. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First play on this shit, yeah. Nigga, we don't take no else, we got no license. All my niggas fine, we the pilots, yeah. We come back on them bitches, that's the time. We don't take no else, we got no license. Trap artists, all right. I like your energy. I like your energy, but I feel like the beat is just kind of drowning out the sound right now. Like the beat is definitely overtaking your voice. I, that's what I feel like. You know, I'm definitely hearing the, the knockers hit. Maybe it's a little too loud for me. I don't know, but uh, I definitely feel your energy, man. Voice inflection, you got a little Denzel Curry going on there. So then you switch, and then you switch it from a trap sound to, to a, a ass shaking club man. Distro Kid is that is that your producer Distro Kid? No, the producer is Nick Price. I was looking at okay, I, I see it right there on the uh, on the album. One. I mean, look, when I do these Miami the Mondays, I'm always going to be you know I'm gonna give you pros and I'm gonna give you cons because I feel like that's fair. I mean, whether whether you're a Lou Uzi Vert, whether you're a Playboy Cardi, whether you're a Kendrick Lamar, whether no matter what Logic, no matter what man. If I like your music, I'll tell you I like it. And if I dislike it, I have no shame of saying I, that I dislike it. And I'm, but I'm also here to give constructive crit crit criticism from myself. Um, you know, something I like and something I dislike. But one thing I did dislike, though, I will tell you this. The one thing I did dislike, uh, I didn't like how the beat kind of just was overtaking your voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand 
you know, the beat is definitely an important role. It's a vital role in music because I am definitely a producer first. Well, I'm not a producer at all, but I'm just I'm definitely production first guy before lyrics. So whenever you you know the first thing I'm hearing whenever I hear your sounds, man, I definitely it has to you know kind of flow with you, and I feel like it was just taking over. It was just taking over the beat, and that's that's really what it was. Uh, I loved your energy, man. Your energy is definitely there. You had a little voice inflection, man. You kind of had a little Denzel Curry going there. You kind of confused me though, man, because you went to the trap sound. You had initially going to the trap sound, and then you went to an ass club shaking banger towards the end of the track, where I was like. All right, like okay, so is so that it's supposed to be, uh, you know, it's it's high energy. So again, it doesn't always have to be straight trap. But then you went to the ash and shit, you know. I was like, all right, cool, maybe this is. But the track is called No L's. When I say No L's, I feel like you know, what I'm saying No L's right now. You were talking about you know getting it in. I feel like right now with with the quarantine going on right now, a lot of people are really struggling. Uh, to be exact, I think it's over a million people now are unemployed. I think it's it um, that actually filed for unemployment. So. Uh, no L's, man. I feel like you got to keep grinding, got to keep doing your thing. I kind of represent that. I, I don't know what's going on with the mask and shit, uh, you know, with the artwork and whatnot. But again, you know, going to Atlanta might be a good move for you. Uh, for me, I would definitely probably go to Miami or New York if I was an artist. Or LA. I feel like LA is another place to go to. But Atlanta is also not, you know, Atlanta, if you definitely want the trap sound, Atlanta is probably the, the perfect hub for you. I think that if you continue to, you know, to keep your energy, you got to follow the right audience. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I always tell you, like, when you when you start this music shit, you got to, you're focusing on the audience, right? And it sounds like the audience you want is you want the hood trap anthems. That's what you want. So that's what you going to focus on. You know, so somebody like, I always try to tell you, like, who's right now is different. Like, somebody like Thundercat, who is very alternative and funky. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's definitely going to get to the alternative weird people. And then, you know, you got, like, artists like, I'm trying to think, like, um, who, who's, like, white? Uh, Taylor Swift, pop star Ariana Grande. Well, Ariana Grande is really overall appeal. But I'm just saying, like, you, you're targeting an audience, and I think that you got to know what you're going to talk about and what you're focusing your music for. You want to focus for the club? Make club bangers. You want to focus for the trap? Pushing, you know, struggle music, selling drugs, whatever you want to do? Push that. Push that agenda. I'm gonna keep it like that, man. Get in the comments below, man. What y'all think about this motherfucker artist, man? No L's by Black Cat. Black Cat, all right? Uh, get in the comments, put his stuff in the um, comment box below. Again, me and the Mondays, man, where I listen to new artists because I always tell you, your favorite artist was once a diamond in the dirt, and this is where I kind of give back. Usually these videos don't even get views. and that, that Well, I'm not gonna say they don't get views, but these videos don't get as much views, obviously, as my mainstream artists that I listen to. But again, I don't really care about that. This is kind of my way of doing something on my channel to kind of give back to the community, and that's what I do. Usually every Monday. Actually, I think I'm on time. I think I actually got it on a Monday today. So, that being said, man, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, order together. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Damn, I'm talking really fast today. Don't forget, follow me on social media, let me turn it here. Until the next time, it's me over there. We are out. Peace.